Hello, first grade. Today we're going to read more M&M's math. Colorful candies will be our counting tools. Shake them out of the bag, then follow the rules. Take a quick glance at the total amount. Keep a guess in your head of how many came out. Now sort the colors. How many groups did you get? We'll use them to count, so don't eat them just yet. Let's make a graph where we'll place all the candy. For solving math problems, a graph comes in handy. In the row that reads red, place the reds from your pile. Put one in each box. This might take a while. Do the same with the orange, the brown, and the blue. Don't forget to put yellow and green in there too. Examine the candies when your hard work has ceased. Which row has the most? Which has the least? Think about which row here has the most. The brown, right? So we'll write brown. And now which one has the least? Think about that. It's the blue. So we'll put blue. Let's keep going. Compare the six rows. Some are short, some are tall. Are any rows equal? You make the call. Are any of them equal? I think orange and green look like they stop in the same box. Write down the total you see in each row. Let's see if your guess was high or low. So we guessed at the beginning how many M&Ms there would be in the bag. These are the totals of each row. And now let's make an estimate or a guess of how many there are total. The yellow M&M guy says 49. I think I'm gonna go one more than him and Miss Bear is gonna guess 50. You can write down your estimate and then we'll count. Now let's see how many there are in all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Hmm, so the m and guy guessed 49, I guessed 50, and you had another guess. So you get to decide who was the closest to 55, the number of M&Ms.